Hey guys, welcome to The Strong Young Man. A woman's attitude towards men and everything in life begins in her formative years. Every experience in her myelinogenic years, when she is under 8 years old, can have a lasting psychological impact. If a woman didn't have a positive relationship with a strong, masculine and virtuous father throughout her entire youth, it will cause her deep psychological issues that will follow her around until they are resolved. A woman's father is responsible for establishing positive views of both men and women and how they should interact. If she didn't have a positive relationship with a strong, masculine and virtuous father who taught her what to value in a man, she is not capable of identifying and valuing that in you. The deeper psychological impact is explained by using neo-Freudian psychology. A woman who had a break in the bond with her father will develop peculiar behaviours depending on the stage of sexual development at which the break in the bond occurred. According to Freud, there are five stages of sexual development. A woman needs to progress to the final stage in order to obtain a healthy personality in adulthood. If a woman experiences a break in the bond with her father during stages 1 to 3, then a fixation will occur, resulting in unhealthy behaviours. In order to identify if a woman has this problem so that you can exclude her from your long-term relationship candidates, you need to evaluate her behaviour to see if she demonstrates that she is stuck in a developmental stage. There are five stages. Stage 1, oral stage, 0 to 18 months. The child's mouth is the primary erogenous zone. It is the period of time where a child develops their oral skills. A grown woman stuck in this developmental phase will obsess with oral stimulation and develop addictions and habits with objects that are put in her mouth. They include cigarettes, drugs, alcohol, nail biting, fellatio, teabagging, cunnilingus and analingus. Other than the obvious fact that these addictions can impact you negatively, they are a telltale sign that she had an early break or never had a positive relationship with a strong, masculine and virtuous father. Stage 2, anal stage, 18 months to 3 years. The child's anus is the primary erogenous zone. It is the period of time where a child learns to control their bowels. A grown woman stuck in this developmental phase will be anal retentive and unable to let go of control. She will be controlling and manipulative within her friendships and relationships. Some obvious signs that a woman is stuck in this stage is that she will be a pathological liar, create drama from nothing, become overly jealous, and will throw tantrums and hissy fits if she does not get her way. This is all the behaviour that is demonstrated during this developmental stage. Stage 3, phallic stage, 3 to 6 years. The child's genitals are the primary erogenous zone. It is the period of time where a child becomes aware of the physical differences between males and females. If a girl does not progress past the phallic stage of development, she will develop what Carl Jung describes as an Electra complex. The Electra complex is a girl's psychosexual competition for her father over her mother. Due to the deep psychological drive to rebel against her father and obtain masculine validation, a grown woman stuck in this developmental phase will exhibit promiscuous sexual behaviours with an explorative sexual past. She will have a strong affinity for much older men, which will often have similar characteristics to her father. She will also keep ex-boyfriends and lots of male orbiters around for validation that confirms she is desirable. Male orbiters are backup guys who float around a woman but never get close to her sexually until she runs out of options. Stage 4, latent stage, 6 to 17 years. The child's genitals remain the primary erogenous zone. This is a time of relative stability where a woman will dissolve her electro complex. She will begin to realise that she needs to obtain masculine attention from men other than her father. The sexual energy will branch out from her father to friends her own age. If she progresses past this stage without getting intimate with anyone, I can't stress this enough, if she progresses through this stage without getting intimate with anyone, she will develop the most positive relationship to sexuality. Stage 5, genital stage, 12 till death. The child's genitals remain the primary erogenous zone. A grown woman who has progressed to this stage will have a healthy relationship to sexuality. Women without a positive relationship to a strong, masculine and virtuous father can also demonstrate the following behaviours. Desire to dominate men, especially if their mother dominated their father. Expresses contempt for her father and other previous boyfriends. Has cheated in previous relationships. Craves attention all the time from people, social media or on dating apps, etc. Women who prefer to date narcissistic, emotionally unavailable or married men as opposed to strong, virtuous men has a poor attitude towards police officers, security guards, politicians, or other authoritative figures. Understand that this lack of respect for authority will transfer over to you when you try to be the authority figure in your relationship. To identify these women, you will need to do your own investigation before allowing them to progress to becoming your long-term relationship. Prompt her to reveal information about herself, which will help you identify these signs. Women love to talk about their favorite topic, themselves. 
For maximum effect, prompt her when she is at her most vulnerable, like when she is comfortable and not prepared for it. For example, after a night out when she's had a few drinks. Paralyze her with your sudden questions and ask them directly. She is more likely to stumble into a truthful answer when she has not been able to prepare a response. After asking the question, remain silent and wait for a response. Do not bait her or lead her into an answer. Remember that a woman will never be forthcoming about her sexual history. Generally, all women prepare responses to questions like this when recounting sexual partners. Most women will only count the sexual partners that they were intimate with within a relationship and not one night stands or short flings. When a woman reveals the number of sexual partners she's had, you should triple it to get a realistic idea of her actual body count. Another fact to ascertain is the age at which a woman lost her virginity. The earlier a woman loses her virginity, the less healthy her relationship to sex is. Remember, if a woman loses her virginity before she has progressed to the final stage of psychosexual development, she will not develop a positive relationship to sex. You should not marry a woman who loses her virginity before 18. The data shows that this woman is more likely to cheat, more likely to have failed relationships, more likely to have a poor relationship with her father due to rebellion, and a poor concept of masculine ideals in general. A woman's capacity to bond with a man is reduced with every new sexual partner. Screening a woman's sexual past is imperative to a successful long-term relationship with her. Women with an Electra complex or other neo-Freudian fixation can often be amazing in bed, and so they can lure you in with their sexual prowess and appetite. Just remember that their sexual prowess has been developed because of their emotional issues in conjunction with years of sexual experiences with all kinds of men. It is likely that the freakier she is in bed, the more problems she will cause for you. I understand this is probably not what you wanted to hear, but you should never marry the best sex you've ever had. Final warning, you need to be very careful of these women. Sometimes their anger towards their father and men in general will be projected onto you through various negative behaviours such as aggression, impatience, belittling, and having a sense of entitlement. This is all part of a woman seeking cosmic justice for the inability of her father to perform his masculine burden of performance, whether it's his fault or not. These are the women most likely to be merciless in a divorce. They will cause you the most damage and could result in you losing everything that makes up your identity. I have seen men become victims of engaging with these women. I've seen them lose their house, their children, and years of saved and future income. Screen a woman for neo-Freudian fixations before marriage or suffer the consequences. Thanks for watching today's episode. In episode 35, I'll go through how to shave. Subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified when it drops. Catch you then.